Hello everyone! Ako si Coach Anto ng Aspire Football Academy. Andito ako ngayon para sa Milo Home Court Training. Magtuturo kami ng iba't ibang football skills um, na basic at uh, madaling sundan na pwedeng-pwedeng gawin sa bahay lang. Bago tayo magsimula sa ating first exercise, um, babanggitin ko muna kung ano ang mga gamit na kailangan. Unang-una sa lahat ay ang bola. Ito ay size 4 na pwedeng gamitin ng, ng mga bata 6 years old pataas. Kapag 5 years old and below naman, pwede kayong gumamit ng size 3. Saan nakakabili ng bola? Pwedeng um, sa bootcamp, uh, meron silang store online, at sa iba't iba pang sports shops. Okay, and then para naman sa kasuotan, um, go for something that you are very comfortable with and preferably lightweight material kasi pagpapawisan tayo. Um, specific um, instruction lang is para sa shorts, ideally, hindi lalampas ng tuhod para mas maigi ang ating paggalaw. Para naman sa sapatos, um, kahit anong athletic rubber shoes ay pwedeng gamitin as long as maganda ang support nito sa paa. So, yun ang mga kailangan natin. And para sa training natin, kailangan natin ng apat na makeshift markers. Kahit anong bagay, laruan, maliit, um, as long as safe siya, pwede nating gamitin bilang mga markers. Para saan ang ball mastery exercises? Um, gusto natin ma-achieve sa ball mastery exercises ay makadami tayo ng touches sa bola. Okay? To familiarize our feet with uh, the different surfaces. And then, uh, to build our confidence and mastery with the ball. And ito ang foundation natin para sa mas mahihirap at complex na football skills later on. Para sa first drill natin, ito ang tinatawag na soul taps. So, magsisimula tayo sa pinakamadaling exercise, soul taps in place. Importanting tandaan sa soul taps ay ang gagamitin nating part ng paa ay ang forefoot. Itatap natin ang bola sa top part ng bola, alternating lang between our right and left foot. Stay light on your feet and slightly lean your chest forward while placing your arms on the sides for better balance. For beginners, a good score would be between 20 to 30 taps, while for advanced players, it would be between 40 to 50 taps. Doing well, everyone. Keep it going. Great work. Next exercise natin ay dribbling with the sole, single foot. The first variation is forward and backward dribbling. Use the forefoot part of the sole to move the ball forward and backward. You can start slowly and progress to doing it faster once you get comfortable with the exercise. Remember to slightly lean forward, keep your arms on the sides, and bend your knees a little for better balance. Try to do as many touches as you can in 20 seconds. Good job! The second variation is the lateral or side-to-side -side sole dribbling. You may also start slowly, then go faster once you're able to execute the skill properly. Remember to slightly lean forward, keep your arms on the side, and bend your knees a little for better balance. Try to dribble as quickly as you can from end to end. Keep going! Good job! Our next drill is the inside taps using the inside part of our foot. Place the ball right underneath your body and tap it from one foot to the other using the inside part of the foot. Make sure you hit the middle part of the ball and point your toes up each time you touch the ball. Let's count how many touches we can make in 20 seconds. Remember to keep your balance by leaning forward slightly, by placing your hands on the side, and by bending your knees a little. Don't forget to point your toes up. A good score for beginners would be between 20 to 30 taps, 
and 40 to 50 taps for the more advanced players. Great work! The next exercise is forward and backward inside taps. You just move from end to end using the inside taps. You can start slowly and go faster as soon as you get comfortable with the drill. Tap the ball as quickly as you can while moving from end to end. Make sure to keep your balance and don't forget to point your toes up each time you touch the ball. You're doing well! Great work! Our next drill is the lateral or sideways inside taps. Same key points from the previous drill, but now you will be tapping the ball while moving laterally from end to end. You may start slowly, then go faster once you get a good feel of the exercise. Remember to keep your balance and point your toes up each time you touch the ball. That's the way! Good job! Our last exercise for today is the square drill. Dito, gagawin natin ang iba't ibang combinations ng um, sole taps and inside taps. Forward sole taps from marker 1 to marker 2, then inside taps from marker 2 to marker 3, then backward sole taps from marker 3 to marker 4, then inside taps from marker 4 to marker 1. You may do your first round slowly between 20 to 25 seconds and then progress to between 15 to 20 seconds on your next round. For the second drill, sole dribbling forward from marker 1 to marker 2, sideways from marker 2 to marker 3, backward from marker 3 to marker 4, and then sideways from marker 4 to marker 1. You may do your first round slowly between 15 to 20 seconds and then progress to between 10 to 15 seconds on your second round. Great job, everyone! I hope to see you again next week for the Milo home court training. Remember to practice, stay healthy, stay active. Hope to see you again next week. Goodbye!